Hello everyone, welcome to Chromed. In this video, we will look at some important one-line questions from the gynecology and the obstetrics. Okay, so mostly I have covered the obstetrics one-line questions in this and here or there one two gynecology questions may also be covered here. Okay, so these questions are purely those questions which are asked in the Jan 23, July 23 and the uh, July 22. Okay, so one by one we look at all those questions here. If you are new to GrowMed, subscribe to GrowMed and tap the bell icon so that whenever I post a video, you will get a notification. Okay, so let's start the video. Uh, the first question, LH surge. This is due to the estradiol. Okay, so a very important question, LH surge. And questions are asked every year. And the final effect of this LH surge is that it will be causing the ovulation. So, a uh, graph was given... Uh, and the four or five hormones were marked like the estrogen, progesterone, LH and FSH. And you uh, need to choose, you have to choose the LH surge which causes the ovulation. So, moving on to the next question. In three swab test, the middle swab is stained. Then what is the diagnosis? It is the vesicovaginal fistula. Vesicovaginal fistula also a very important topic. Every year a question is asked on this, either the image-based question. Okay, so if there is image given, then you need to identify the fistula between the bladder and the vagina. And for the diagnosis, we use the swab test. Moving on to the next question, Leydig cell secretes testosterone and the Sertoli cell secretes the inhibin. So these are also one-line questions asked multiple times, testosterone and the inhibin. The next question, direct cause of maternal death so uh, it can be due to the two reasons uh, the preeclampsia was given in the option okay in one exam the preeclampsia was the answer and in another exam the answer was the pph okay postpartum hemorrhage so you need to look which option is given in the question and what are they asking like it is the direct cause if it is indirect cause then it is anemia the next question gestational diabetes mellitus screening is done at what week so it will be 24 week to 28 feet uh, so this question was given uh, describing features like a female she had come for regular checkup but when you do the glucose when you do the blood sugar uh, you find that the glucose is so and so the value of the glucose was given okay and 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 in the last line it was asked that the gestation diabetes mellitus screening is to be done at what age and the another variant of this question is the gestation diabetes mellitus They'll be describing all the features like glucose zyada tha, then fasting blood glucose, postprandial itna tha, and earlier she was normal, she do not have any family history. So what is the diagnosis? It is gestational diabetes mellitus and if it occurs before 24 weeks, then it will be overt diabetes mellitus. Okay, uh, so the next question, ovarian drill is done for. I guess a very easy question which was asked, uh, it is done for the PCOS. Anyone can mark this, right? Ovarian drill to see the see the PCOS. Then the next question, the Lokia sequence. It is the rubra, the red, then the cirrhosa, and the alba. So this sequence be pucha gaya hai a lot of times, and it usually lasts for five to fifteen days. This was also asked. Then moving on, quadruple test is done at which weeks? It is done at second trimester. If given trimester, then second, and if it is given in weeks, then it will be sixteenth week. Serial monitor of the beta HCG. So it is done in case of two conditions. First one is the high daddy for mole, the molar pregnancy, and it can be seen in the ectopic pregnancy. So in high daddy form, usually the levels will be very high, and in ectopic pregnancy, the level will be low. So like this, you can differentiate it whether it is a high daddy form mole or the ectopic pregnancy. And if one liner is asked, then whichever is given in the option, you need to choose that. The postum pregnancy, uh, weeks ke baad it is called as postum. So after 42 weeks, it is called as postum. So now the question is asked on these weeks, so it becomes important for you to look at all the weeks, like uh, less than 37 weeks preterm, 37 to 42, it will be normal or uh, term pregnancy, okay. And more than 42, it will be postum. Okay, so the next question, couple use contraception post vasectomy. So this vasectomy ka bhi bahut baar pucha gaya tha question. Uh, to after doing vasectomy, the couple should practice another method of contraception for 3 months. Okay, if given 3 months in the question, then 3 months. If weeks they are asking, then it will be 12 to 16 weeks. 
then moving on to the next question in preemi gravida normal cervical dilation so each for preemi gravida then will be 1 cm per hour considered as a normal and in a multipara it will be 1 cm per hour another very easy question is the most common site of the ectopic pregnancy ampulla okay so moving on to the next question oxytocin is contraindicated so oxytocin is contraindicated in heart diseases if the mother has the heart diseases and if there is transverse life of the child then it is contraindicated so whichever is given in the option you need to choose that breaking clavicle during delivery and it is known as the cleidotomy maternal death according to the who asked multiple times this maternal death so the definition is during the pregnancy during pregnancy and within 6 weeks post delivery if the death of the mother happens in this period of time then it will be considered as a maternal death okay so the time of the secondary pph so this was also asked as a direct one liner if the bleeding occurs 24 hours to 12 weeks post delivery then it is considered it is called as a secondary pph uh, we are discussing about the pph let's look at the primary pph it is within 12 hours okay after the delivery of the baby delivery of the placenta and after that it will be within 12 hours then called as a primary pph so moving on to the next question anti thyroid drug which is safe in pregnancy it is the propyl thiouracil management of uterine prolapse uterine prolapse also a very important topic so questions usually are asked on its management only okay so if it is a young female then we will be doing a ring cesarean and if it is an elderly female then we will go with the leaf foot operation or leaf foot repair then the next question the side effect of a ritodrin ritodrin is a tocolytic beta 2 agonist and its side effects are the tremor tachycardia tremors tachycardia pulmonary edema and hypoglycemia so these are certain side effects of the ritodrin most serious side effect of the tamoxifen it is the endometrial cancer okay so the tamoxifen used for the breast cancer high risk of uh, the female getting endometrial cancer then secondary amenorrhea after curative and it is due to the ashman syndrome so questions a uh, clinical questions are asked on this ashman syndrome that uh, a female she had gone undergone spontaneous abortion and for that she had undergone curative after that she presents with amenorrhea what is the diagnosis so it is the ashman syndrome so this is a piece of a cake that after curative secondary amenorrhea after curative you are sure that it is ashman okay so moving on to the next question recurrent abortions due to subtate uterus uh, how will you manage this patient so this was asked as a case of the recurrent abortion <clears throat> and the management is trans cervical resection of the septum the next question drugs used for the medical termination of pregnancy so the mpp also a very important topic okay so forensic mein puche gaye hai uh, along with that the act mpp 2021 act the points in that act you need to remember them also so the drugs used this are mifepristone and the misoprostol so mifepristone 200 microgram the mg is also asked so you need to remember that also 200 mg it can be given into four doses so it will be approximately 600 mg is the maximum dose and the misoprostol 800 microgram so the next question endometrial hyperplasia with atp how will you manage this patient we will do the simple hysterectomy okay so if it is without atp then it will be progesterone we will manage the patient by giving the progesterone but as here the atypical is asked then we will manage by simple hysterectomy then management of the bartholin cyst it is by the marsupialization okay so these were some quick important points from the gynecology and the ops so this video will help you in your quick revisions of the subject thank you for watching this video guys like the video subscribe to gromed and share the video with your friends all the best for your exam thank you bye bye